morning knee bowed and body bent before thy throne of grace. O Lord, this morning bow our hearts beneath our knees and our knees in some lonesome valley. We come this morning like empty pitchers to a full fountain with no merits of our own. O Lord, open up a window of heaven and lean far out of the battlements of glory. And listen this morning. Come here, Lord, come here, Lord, come here, Lord. Sinner crying, come here, Lord. And God stepped out on space, and he looked around and he said, I'm lonely. I'll make me a world. And as far as the eye of God could see, darkness covered everything. Blacker than a hundred midnights down in a cypress swamp. And God smiled, and the light broke. The darkness rolled up on one side, and the light stood shining on the other. And God said, that's good. And God reached out and took the light in his hands, And God rolled the light around in his hand until he made the sun. And he set that sun ablazing in the heavens. And the light that was left from making the sun, God gathered it up in a shining ball and flung it against the darkness, spangling the night with the moon and the stars. And down between the darkness and the light, God hurled the world. And God said, that's Then God himself stepped down. The sun was on his right hand. The moon was on his left. The stars were clustered above his head. And the earth was under his feet. And God walked. And where he trod, his footprints hollowed the valleys out and bulged the mountains up. And God stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren. So God stepped over to the edge of the world and spat out the seven seas. He batted his eyes and the lightnings flashed. He clapped his hands and the thunders rolled. And the waters above the earth came down. The cooling waters came down. Then the green grass sprouted and the little red flowers blossomed. The pine tree pointed his finger to the sky and the oak spread out his arms. The lakes curdled down in the hollows of the ground, and the rivers ran down to the sea. And God smiled again, and the rainbow appeared, and curled itself around his shoulders. Then God raised his arm, and he waved his hand over the sea and over the land. And he said, bring forth, bring forth. And quicker than God could drop his hand, Fishes and fowls and beasts and birds swam the rivers and seas, roamed the forests and woods, and split the air with their wings. And God said, that's good. Then God walked around, and God looked around on all that he had made. He looked at his sun, he looked at his moon, he looked at his little stars. He looked on his world with all its living things, and God said, I'm lonely still. Then God sat down on the side of a hill where he could think. By a deep wide river he sat down. With his head in his hands, God thought and thought till he thought, I'll make me a man. Up from the bed of the river, God scooped the clay. And by the bank of the river, he kneeled him down. And there the great God Almighty who lit the sun and fixed it in the sky, who flung the stars to the farmost corner of the night, who rounded the earth in the middle of his hand, this great God, like a mammy bending over her baby, kneeled down in the dust, 
coiling over a lump of clay till he shaped it in his own image. Then into it he blew the breath of life and man became a living soul. Yes, he's taken my feet up of my clay and he's placed a pond of Jesus. Heartbroken husband, weep no more. Grief-stricken son, weep no more. Left lonesome daughter, weep no more. She's only just gone home. Day before yesterday morning, God was looking down from his great high heaven. Looking down on all his children and his eye fell on Sister Caroline tossing on her bed of pain. And God's big heart was touched with pity, with everlasting pity. And God sat back on his throne and commanded that tall, bright angel standing at his right hand, Call me death. And that tall, bright angel cried in a voice that broke like a clap of thunder, Call death. Call death. And the echo sounded down the streets of heaven until it reached away back in that shadowy place where death waits with his pale white horses. And death heard the summons, and he leaped on his fastest horse, as pale as a sheet in the moonlight. Up the golden streets death galloped, and the hooves of his horse struck fire from the gold, but they didn't make a sound. Up death rode to that great white throne, and waited for God's command. And God said, Go down, death. Go down to Savannah, Georgia down in Yamacro and find Sister Caroline. She's borne the burden and the heat of the day. She's labored long in my vineyard and she's tired. She's weary. Go down, Death, and bring her to me. And Death didn't say a word, but he loosed the reins on his pale white horse and he clamped the spurs to his bloodless side and out and down he rode through heaven's pearly gates, passing suns, moons, stars, death road, and the phone from his horse was like a coming in the sky, on death road, leaving the lightning splash behind, straight on down he came. While we were watching about her bed, she turned her eyes and looked away. She saw what we couldn't see. She saw old death, old death coming like a falling star. But death didn't frighten Sister Caroline. He looked to her like a welcome friend. And she whispered to us, I'm going home.
when she smiled and closed her eyes. And death took her like a little baby and held her in his icy arms, but she felt no chill. Then death began to ride again, out beyond the evening star, up beyond the morning star, out into that glittering light of glory and on to that great white throne. And there he laid Sister Caroline on the loving breast of Jesus. And Jesus took his own hand and wiped away her tears and smoothed the furrows from her face. And the angels sang a little song. And Jesus rocked her in his arms and kept saying, Take your rest, take your rest, take your rest. Weep not, weep not, she is not dead. She's resting in the bosom of Jesus. God will divide the sheep from the goats, the one on the right, the other on the left. And to those on the right, God's going to say, enter into my kingdom. And those who have come through great tribulations and washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb, they will enter in, clothed in spotless white, with starry crowns on their heads and silver slippers on their feet and harps within their hands. And two by two, they will walk up and down the golden streets, feasting on milk and honey, singing new songs of Zion, and chatting with the angels around that great white throne. And to them on the left, gods are going to say, Depart from me into everlasting darkness, down into the bottomless pit. And the wicked, like lumps of lead, will start to fall. Headlong for seven days and nights they'll fall, plumb into the big black red hot mouth of hell, belching out fire and brimstone. And their cries like howling, yelping dogs will go up with the fire and smoke from hell. But God will stop his ears. Too late, sinner. Too late. Goodbye, sinner. Goodbye. Inhale, sinner. Inhale beyond the reach of the love of God. And I hear a voice crying, crying, time shall be no more. Time shall be no more. Time shall be no more. And the sun will go out like a candle in the wind. The moon will turn to dripping blood. The stars will fall like cinders. And the sea will burn like tar. And 
the earth shall melt away and be dissolved and the sky will roll up like a scroll. With the wave of his hand, God will blot out time and start the wheel of eternity. Sinner, oh sinner, where will you stand in that great day when God's are going to rain down fire? My Lord, my Lord, my Lord says to rain down fire, my Lord. And now, Lord, when I've done drunk my last cup of sorrow, when I've been called everything but a child of God, when I'm done traveling up the rough sides of the mountain, oh, Mary's baby, when I start down the steep and slippery steps of death, when this old world began to rock beneath my feet, lower me into my dusty grave in peace, to wait for that great getting up morning. Amen. In that great getting up morning, fare you well, fare you well. In that great getting up morning, fare you well, fare you well. In that great getting up morning, fare you well, fare you well. In that great getting up morning, fare you well, fare you well. There's a better day a coming. Fare you well, fare you well. Preacher, fold your Bible. Fare you well, fare you well. In the great in the morning, fare you well, fare you well. In the great in the morning, fare you well, fare you well. In the great in the morning, fare you well, fare you well. In the great in the morning, fare you well, fare you
to another good loafing lying sending man like me thank the Lord thank the Lord It's me, it's me, 
your Lord Standing in the need of prayer It's me, it's me, oh Lord Standing in the need of prayer Not the preacher who's the preaching But it's me, oh Lord Standing in the need of prayer Not the preacher who's the preaching But it's me, oh Lord Standing in the need of prayer Standing in the need of prayer Standing in the need of prayer Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified Stand my trial 
I've got to stand it by myself. Oh, nobody else could stand it for me. Oh, I've got to stand it by myself. Stand it by myself, by myself, by myself. Sir.